Hello, it's Scott Wittenberg with Synapse Global Corporation, here today with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to set up a basic IVR, also known as Automated Attendant, in Elastix. As you can see, we are already logged into Elastix. The first thing that we want to do is press the PBX tab. Now scroll down and press the IVR tab. Now we are at the Digital Receptionist screen. On the right hand bar, press Add IVR. OK, I'm going to take a minute to show you a graphic that explains the call flow for the menu system we are about to create. OK, as you can see, an incoming telephone call comes into Elastix and then to your IVR menu, and then your IVR menu is played for them. If someone presses 1, the call will go to extension 2000, which is the sales extension. If they press 2, the call will go to extension 2001, which is the customer support extension. If they press 0, the call will go to extension 1005, which is the secretary's extension. If they dial an extension number directly into the IVR, the call will go straight to that extension. OK, let's get started. OK, so as usual, there are many options. And if you put your mouse over each option, it will give a brief description of that option. The first thing we're going to do is name this menu. So we'll go here to change name, and we will call this menu main menu. Um, the next field is announcement. That's the announcement that callers will hear when they uh, call the main menu. So you'll want to select your recording from the drop down. Um, in this case, it would say something like, thank you for calling XYZ company, press 1 for sales, press 2 for customer support, press 0 for the operator, or if you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. If you do not know how to create announcements, you should stop here and watch our tutorial on system recordings. Enable direct dial should be checked for this demo. That allows callers to directly type in an extension and be forwarded to it. Okay, now scroll down. OK, this is the section where we will direct the callers based upon the numbers that they press. We'll put a 1 here, and then we will direct the number 1 to extension 2000 for sales. Now, if someone presses the number 1 while listening to the main menu, they will be sent to extension 2000. Now we'll repeat this with the other extensions. So we'll put the number 2 here, and we'll redirect that to extension 2001, which is customer support. All right, now we'll put the number 0 here, and we'll redirect that to extension 1005, which is the operator or the front desk secretary. Now press Save. Now we're going to do one more thing. We need to direct our incoming DID to play the menu when someone calls. If you do not know how to set up a DID, please stop here and watch our tutorial on setting up a basic DID. The first thing we're going to want to do now is press Inbound Routes on the left bar. OK, before I press Inbound Routes, I wanted to mention, you probably see up here Apply Configuration Changes here. Um, you can press that now, but we're going right to another screen where we're going to make a change that's going to require us to select Apply Configuration Changes again. So I'm just going to wait and do it at the end. You can press it now if you'd like, or you can wait. OK, go over and press Inbound Routes. Now select the DID or telephone number that you want to direct to the IVR. Scroll to the bottom. Under Set Destination, we want to change the destination to be IVR and select the proper menu from the drop-down. Now press Submit. Now select Apply Configuration Changes here. That's all there is to it. You now know how to set up a basic IVR menu in Elastix. If you call your DID number now, you should be able to hear your IVR menu recording. You may now log out of Elastics.